Bonjour Genie Engineers! In this video we're going to talk about some concepts and equations on phase relationships. This is really important if you're taking the FE exam or if you're just taking soil mechanics class. Now if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is define some important terms and then after that we're going to locate these terms and equations on the NCS handbook and then after that we're going to jump into practice problems. Now just a friendly reminder make sure your NCS handbook is always open while you're studying because it's important to locate where the equations are it will save you a lot of time during the test. So phase relationships is important when we want to classify the soil or just determine some properties of the soil like uh, permeability or compressibility or the settlement, shear strength. All these properties are important for certain application in engineering. Now keep in mind that soil usually has three components. We have solids, we have water and we have air. And these three equations right here represent the relationship between those three components. So we have the total volume is equal to the sum of the volume of the air plus the volume of the water plus the volume of the solid. Now the volume of the void is just the sum of the water plus the air. So that's what's considered void. Now if we want to know the total weight, we usually ignore the, the weight of the, of the air because it's, uh, it's very small, so it's insignificant and it doesn't really affect our result either way. So we usually just add the weight of the solid plus the weight of the water. So then we have these terms right here. We have the void ratio, porosity, moisture content, the unit weight. We have saturated unit weight, submerged unit weight, degree of saturation, and specific gravity. Now these terms have equations that you should get familiar with. And, um, and honestly, the only way you can get really good at it is just by doing a lot of practice problems. So that's important. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do a lot of problems. Now on here, on page, if you go to page 151 on the NCS handbook, you will see the first thing under civil engineering, you have geotechnical, and this is where you have all your phase relationships. So we have the volume. This is the diagram. This is the same as what we have here. It's very similar. Uh, then we have the weight, total unit weight, we have the saturated unit weight. So all these equations right here for these terms are all here. And then you are going to be using this a lot um, in your FE exam because you will get a lot of questions on this. I myself got about five questions on this. So make sure you do a lot of problems and make sure you remember where the equations are. Okay guys, so I will be posting more problems on the future on this topic because on my FE exam I got a lot of questions on phase relationships and I want to make sure you are guys ready for it. Now if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. A la prochaine!